Hey Sagittarius, what's up Sag? Happy Wednesday. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Sagittarius out there. Alrighty, um, real quick before we hop in Sagittarius, the April Soul Healing Box is now available on my online store. Doesn't it look amazing? This is the box. All right, if you guys want more information, you guys can check my um, my online store, mytearsifeelmyheart.com. The information is pinned in the comments below. It's also in the description box as well. All righty. Um, if I resonate with you, Sagittarius, do your girl a favor. Show some love by liking the video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. All right. So let's hop in, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. Uh-oh. What's going on with Sagittarius? Sun will rise and also Venus. Sagittarius, let's see. The messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Wow, everybody keeps getting this card. Scorpio. Scorpio got it. I want to say Capricorn. Now you guys. So everybody's blocked with this death energy that you are learning that endings bring in new beginnings. All right. Maybe you need to end something so that you guys can be at peace. Okay. Um, but yeah, a lot of the Zodiac signs are getting this. Okay. So it's time for you guys to let something go. Let's see. Why is um, Sagittarius blocked with the death card? Why does Sagittarius block with the death card? Give me a message for Sagittarius. Why they block with the death card? Completion. Yeah, something needs to be done and over. Something needs something has come to a completion. And you just need to let it go. Let it let it come to an ending. We have pay, but you're not being patient. Hmm. Patience is a new word. Give me one more message for Sagittarius. communication okay so this is a situation where something is over but it's kind of not over until you say or have your last words or say it's over like it's over it's done or something is about to be over and done with but there's something that you haven't communicated yet that you want to tell this person you're not being patient all right i feel like you might just end up texting calling saying something to this person but there's definitely something that you want to communicate you feel like something may not be there or there's something that you didn't get to communicate yeah you feel like you need to say it so that you can heal something that's on your mind something that's messing with your mental something that's affecting you emotionally you feel like you need to get it off your chest or say something so that way you can heal and move forward and go through this rebirth this ending this transformation and venture off or come out of this energy yeah there's something that you're trying to manifest but it's like you're not able to put love and compassion into it like you once did before or just in general and it's due to this situation it's due to this relationship i really do see you guys trying to follow your dreams but there has been a change in your relationship and it could have been karmic with the karmic completion card so i don't know sagittarius i feel like i don't know i don't know why i keep saying i don't know i feel like um you guys are just um in a situation where something has ended and it's over with it's done but there's something that I feel like you guys need to get off your chest. You want to say, you want to express or something like that. And there has been like no communication. So like cut off communication. But I feel like it's something that you feel like you need to um, express. You feel maybe you just need closure. You feel like you can't move on. I, but it's like you're not being patient. You know, it's like maybe this person hasn't reached out. And I feel like you guys are going to get to a point where you're going to reach out, call, text, email, say something. Okay. Um, let's hop into your reading, Sagittarius. So what's going on with you guys in love? See two more shuffles, Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius in love. Messages for Sagittarius in love. Sagittarius. So we have nervous breakdown. Yeah. Can't cope or is this our financial stress? Yeah. Don't let, 
don't have another don't let this person put you in that energy we have malicious refuses to take responsibility tries to ruin your reputation we are replacing hooking up with other people and we have a straight up liar can't believe what they say so i feel like you're like don't let this person like don't have a nervous breakdown over this clown this fool whoever this is somebody is hooking up with other people they could be doing it to try to make you jealous yeah but whoever look the third party is ratchet okay yes the third party the third party is ratchet they are not worth you having a nervous breakdown like for real whoever this is so let's look at the energy between you guys Sorry, give me one second. All right, I'm sorry, um, Sag. I have seen um, FedEx come in. I had a sign for a package. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, let's see. Messages for Sagittarius. Let's look at the energy between you and this person. All right, so we have solitary withdrawn, single, pre TM mask. So, yeah, somebody could have been wearing a mask you are single from this person or you just kind of like been to yourself kind of like a hermit just not dealing with them very withdrawn you feel like they're wearing a mask you feel like they lie exaggerate everything i feel like this person is kind of coming off like as a victim or like as if they're misunderstood like they didn't do nothing wrong but let's see let's hop into your reading let's see what's going on sagittarius messages for sagittarius let's see Messages for Sagittarius. Let's see. Sagittarius. All right, let's see. How does this person feel towards you guys? King of Pentacles. All right, so... I mean, this person comes off as like mature, like they have it together. They're coming in as if they have something to offer you guys. This can be somebody that owns a business. Um, this can be somebody that has like a high status. You're like they're very known around town or a lot of people know them. They get money. Could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. Um, what are they not telling you? We have the Ten of Cups reverse. Where do you stand in their life? Three of Swords reverse. Um, is there someone else involved? We have the strength card. So I will tell you that they feel like they have a stronger connection with somebody with the strength card. That's a deep connection, a bond, chemistry. Um, somebody is just like ready to honestly kind of like move forward with this three of swords in universe, ten of cups in universe. Somebody is not happy or they weren't happy in the relationship with you or you guys are going through some type of separation or maybe you weren't happy and there's some separation here and so now they have this bond with somebody else. Okay? Um, let's see what's blocking you guys from moving forward. We have the three of wands in universe. Um, how um, do people see and view this relationship? You know, like your friends and family or people, yeah, they see it as like something that need, like something that is a, is the world card kind of reverse is like repeated cycles, okay? So it's it's stagnation. It's like a lack of success, something that's not moving forward in a positive way. Um, let's see. Their future intentions is the tower. So we have Scorpio. All right. So we have Scorpio. We have fixed energy, Leo energy. Yeah. I don't know, Sag. Let's see. Because it's like somebody is kind of like done with the situation. Okay, um, when it comes to you, that can be why the replacing card is here, but um, let's see where this is going. Oh, shit, sorry. 
I'm just getting like somebody is not happy or somebody is, you know, but take it, uh, this can be interchangeable. So take it however it makes with you. It can, you know, can be in reverse. So let's see. I'm not going to take those. All right, let's see why this King of Pentacles is here, though, for how they feel towards you. Messages for Sagittarius when it comes to the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. All right, let's see where this is going. Let me see. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. Oh, okay. So, no, you're the person that they want to replace. I mean, they want to be with you over the other person. Sorry. It makes sense now. But I feel like you guys are having a nervous breakdown and this other person is, like, talking a lot of shit. But this person is lying, though. You guys are in separation or going through something right now. But I do see that this person is, like, really, like, they want to be with you or work something out with you or have something with you. But I feel like it's the other person that they're with. Whoever they're with is like that situation they're unhappy in. That could have been like the person that they were dealing with was ratchet. Okay, let's see. Four of Swords, Reverse, Six of Pentacles. Somebody is money hungry. Yeah. The third, the um, the other person, like the third party, is money hungry and ratchet. They are not, they're not worth, they're not worth it. Like like going back and forth with the malicious card. I feel like they want you to feed into their bullshit and their drama. And it's not worth it, Sagittarius. Let's see why the six of pentacles is here. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they're money hungry. They want money. And they know this person has money. They want money. Um, this person feels like you're more on their level. And this person is trying their best not to give them money. They don't want to give them money or give them what they want from them. Okay. Um, they're trying to come to some type of like peaceful resolution. Like they're trying to solve this. So I'm like kind of, I'm, I'm sorry, Sag. I was really confused because like right here, so how your reading is showing up because i don't want you guys i don't want to like okay so when i first pull the cards out and i'm asking their energy towards you this is like this is the energy that i got but now that i'm clarifying with the cards it's kind of like you're the other person so the shame card you will be the other person that's on their mind you're the person that they have this strong bond and connection with Okay, and with the Three of Swords reverse, that would make sense for like now, as far as where you're sending this person's life. This person is trying to move on, like focus on the positive. They're just ready to let that situation go. They're willing to forgive that person and just move on. Somebody wants to move on and move forward with you, but I feel like whoever they're whoever they're leaving or their ex or whatever they got going on, somebody is like they they're like they're troubled. They're they gossip. They're malicious. They start rumors. They're just petty. Why is the um why is the Three of Swords in reverse? Yes, yeah, see, look, the world card, your person is closing that chapter, that cycle. So this is opposite. So I do apologize, Sagittarius, because how I was seeing it before is different now. Okay? So let's see, the world card, we have an idea. Yeah, they're closing that chapter to this other person. And this person is mad. They're having some type of like adult tantrum. They're disappointed. They're pissed because this person has choosing you over them. Okay, I mean the Knight of Cups are reverse to the Queen of Pentacles. So let's see why this Knight of Cups is in reverse. They're in love with this person and they're hoping that they're gonna reconcile. But whoever this other person is, they're loud mouth, loud. I'm gonna get the ratchet card. So loud mouth, ignorant, disrespectful. They always got something to say. Whoever this person is, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Why are the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, see, they were in a they were in a bad situation for a long time. You came into their life, and they feel like you were just a better match for them. See how the King of Pentacles is here with the Queen of Pentacles. They feel like you really match their energy. They feel like you're way better for them. They feel like you're somebody that they want to be with and commit to. Like they feel like you're more like it's more about you being more on their level. That can be why the Nine of Pentacles is there too. Let's see why is the Nine of Pentacles here with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you're the other person that they're going to see, but they see you as like established, having it together, taking care of business. Yeah, so they're taking that risk to, like, you know, to deal with you, mess with you. But I just feel like, honestly, I don't like, well, because this person is still around and in their energy. To them, this relationship has been over. Like, it's been done. 
So that can be why the pretend is here. And again, sorry, Sag, y'all energy just came out like so scattered. So I'm glad I got it cleared up. So that can be like they were like what they were um, doing, like pretending as if they were still into that person, dealing with them, but they weren't. You know, like just wearing a mask, like coming out of that situation, withdrawing from them, becoming single so that they can be with you. They've been unhappy with this person for a very long time, and this other person is just money hungry and wants their money. They don't want to fool with this person anymore. Like, they're willing to risk it all at this point to be with you. Yeah. They're going to fight for you and everything, Sag. Like, they're willing to fight for this, fight for you, all of that. You know? So, if this person comes towards you and they're being all malicious and ratchet and ghetto, like, they're not going to have that shit, your person. Let's see why the stream card is here. Why is the stream card here? I have judgment. Yeah, you made them realize, reflect okay they're just like yeah they're like it's time for me to end the bullshit that i'm in so that i can go towards something better with the death card here you guys can be dealing with a scorpio let's see let's yeah this person is like um they're moving in silence like they're not really seeing much you guys talk and communicate but i feel like it's certain times of the day are like they kind of hit you up when they're not with anyone or no one's around them yeah let's see something why is the three of wands in reverse or what's blocking you guys So, I feel, um, okay, so what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius, is because they already had something with them, you kind of feel like it's going to block you guys from moving forward because you feel like they might want to go back to this person due to financial reasons, and that can be why the nervous breakdown card is here. Can't cope or financial stress. You may feel like this person is too invested in that other situation financially, and it's going to be hard and difficult for you guys to move forward, and you may feel like they're going to just like go back because it might be easier or cheaper are they better off financially staying in that situation? But I don't see that being the case. Somebody is going to want money from them. I'll tell you that. Whoever this person is. See, the King of Pentacles. They're going to lie. They want money. Whoever this person is, they want money. They're money hungry. They want money. All they want is money. Could be a Libra, but all they want is money. Go into this Justice card in reverse. Somebody feel like it's owed to them after everything they've been through. And they're going to try to get this person, they're going to try to force, well, not try to force, they want this person to give in to what they want them to do, like, far as, I like, give them or something like that. It could be something as, like, say, for example, like, if this is, like, their baby mom, and they're with them, and they live with them and everything, the baby mom might be mad because it's, like, now they got to move out, they got to find a place to stay, and they're going to tell them, like, oh, since we're not together, I feel like you should pay all the daycare, you should pay all the car note, you should do this, you should do that. And so it's like this person still is going to be financially invested in this person or this person is still financially invested in them. I It looks like they will be for a while until they clear things up. Somebody's going to lie to try to get more money or say something. They may also lie and say that they're not going to go to the courts or like put them on child support or do something. But I will say whoever this is, I can, you know, just from what I'm seeing, they're better off like working something out with this person rather than taking them to the court because they they're gonna lie to try to get more money but i feel like this king of pentacles is gonna it's gonna go on this king of pentacles favor the king of pentacles has the money the stability the home like it's so it's just like it's pointless like they're better off just like not saying anything but this person is so upset of the fact that this person has replaced them with you and so now they're gonna Try to like, you know, do whatever they can do to get money out of this person. But they're just money hungry all together. They just want money. They don't want the person. They just want money. That person has been their, their bank, you know, for all this time, for however long they've been together. So with the world card in reverse, let's see. All right. So the people around you are the people you guys know still kind of feel like you're giving too much too soon to the relationship. They feel like you're very sensitive. They feel as if like you're giving too much to the relationship. They see that you're depressed. They feel like this person has already put you through so much. So with the world card kind of reverse, it's like how they see and view you in this relationship. They just kind of feel like um, 
you just been through too much too soon and that there's always something going on or happening between you and this person and that you're still waiting for an offer. It also could be with the Ace of Pentacles that this person does a lot of things for you and they see that, but they're like, okay, this person does a lot for you, but you're still going through what you're going through with them. Let's see Ace of Pentacles. Well, they're waiting for an off. Okay, so when you're when the offer comes in, they'll change how they feel about this, but as of right now, they don't know what to believe. They feel like your person is not being honest with you. They feel like you're too emotionally invested too soon. You're giving too much. They see that you're depressed. You're going through things, but I do see an offer though coming in. When the offer comes in and you guys get things straight and actually are able to move forward, then people will look at the relationship a little different between you guys. All right, let's see why the tower is here. This is their future intentions. Why is the tower here? This reading was very scattered and turned around. But let's see, why is the tower here, Sagittarius? That's you. So there is going to be a big blow up, okay? You guys are going to get into it really bad. I will tell you that I do see a new beginning between you guys. I do see you feeling some type of way, tired of the phase and cycle that you guys are in and what you're going through. You feel like this person is still keeping things hidden, still keeping um, things from you. You kind of feel like you're in the dark about things, but that's going to turn around and change with the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Wands. It looks like you're going to end up getting what you want out of this situation, Sagittarius, but it's going to take some time and I can see why the Nervous Breakdown card came out because I just feel like the other person or situation is it's a lot to deal with i do see you being at peace though okay i do see you being at peace and i do see you being a happier and just shifting out of this energy the three of swords in reverse yeah i fight the third party don't have shit on you sagittarius and you know that and they're just mad they're depressed and they're sad and they see you as the empress they're also jealous probably of your body your looks the woman the are the man or the person that you are you know that you guys are moving forward you and this person will have a baby or probably do have a child or you guys can be pregnant um are will in the future because i see whoever this is i see this person in your future i see them with you long term or you have like a newborn child or a small child um out like you know before them or they do with this person but i just see that this relationship between you guys is going to be like really good once all the drama and the bullshit is out of the picture okay between them and this other person all right you are going to be the person that they settle down with okay but yes you will, get, you will get what you want, but don't let this person bring you down. That's what they want. This person wants to bring you down. Um, they want to, like, you know, fuck with you, your energy and everything. They're just mad. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go into straight up liar. Don't believe anything they're saying. Eight of swords. Oh, yeah, so I thought like this person put in your head that they were going to get back together. The third party, whoever, yeah, the ratchet one. And see, look, keep out, keep out, keep out, leveled up. See, and I feel like that's what they're also jealous about. But they lied to you. They said something. Or they're trying to make you uh, think that they were messing around and they weren't. Okay? The third, yeah. Let's see, Sagittarius. Hey, big boy. We have taken a time out, chill. So, yeah, you may be taking some time, some time to yourself. You need to relax, chill. Um, it says coming back around. This person is going to come back around, okay? I don't see... It's not over between you guys. I feel like right now you're, like, kind of hot and cold about the situation. We have final warning, last chance, so one-sided. Yeah, I feel like you feel like this is a one-sided situation or you're giving somebody, like, a final warning. You're like, I'm not about to deal with this and this one-sided ghetto bullshit with this ratchet ass, whatever you got going on. No wonder you're replacing them. Like, yes, I feel like, yeah, feminine energy. You're laying it down. You're letting them know, like, look, I'm not about to deal with this. Okay, there's some demonic forces. Look, told you, look, getting that bag, money. So I fight this person is also sending negative energy, black magic, but I fight they're also trying to get money out this person. They're also trying to put this person in a financial jam or financial situation. Or they're going to try to like send negative energy towards you and your finances to try to block you and your finances. All right, so just be careful of this person. This person is shady. Yeah, we have the keep out card again. Yeah, this person has already stolen money from your person. Okay, so you guys can be dealing with an earth sign or that person is an earth sign. And their situation was really messy. And now I can see why they wanted to run. Okay, so yes. Let's see, Sag. Let's pull your spirit message. Message for Sagittarius.
All right, so we have, wow, pregnancy stand for justice, number 13. See how she's pregnant on here? I told you some of you guys are pregnancy is going to come out of this. Some of you guys, like I said, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get justice. You guys are going to be giving birth to a new beginning with this person, like something good is coming out of this. All right, it says justice, like a pregnant mother is full of compassion. And also, remember, we are in the, the full moon is in Libra, so that's also a sign. All right, but justice, like an impartial judge, is also full of accountability. You cannot seek justice for yourself in the court of your eternal life without engaging both qualities. Likewise, you'll never find justice in your relationships or outward experiences without the balance between compassion and accountability. Okay, so it's pretty much saying like, even though this is going to go in your favor, you played a role in it in some type of way, Sagittarius. I'm not sure what role you played, but it's saying take accountability for your actions, even though you're going to get justice. Like you played a part, you played a role, you did something, you know, maybe you gave into the messages. I don't know. There's something that you did, but this is a general message though. But I'm just resonating with the reading because of how it came out. You are being asked in this moment to see your situation. I mean, to look at, to look at your situation. Where do you need to be accountable or hold someone else accountable? Okay, it can be that too, holding your person accountable. So if you didn't do anything wrong, it could be holding your person accountable, okay? Where and how do you need to engage compassion for self, for others, for a situation that needs grace and mending, okay? So, yes. So you guys know how to apply this, okay? Whether it's you... It says, where and how do you need to engage compassion? Is it with yourself? Is it with this other person? Is it for this situation? Um, but it talks about accountability. It talks about balancing things out so that just like if you're going to get justice. It's also saying put like look at it from a different perspective. Like there may no, not be any compassion behind it. And I get it because it's like if you're dealing with this ratchet mess, it's like, you know why? But in some situations, we just have to take a higher road and just send people love and light and just keep going on. You know, and I feel like if they're trying to see you negative energy, don't even dibble and dabble into doing anything bad because you're going to get good karma by not like sending them negative energy, dark energy, the evil eye, black magic, stuff like that. Because you're not trying to stop and destroy them. Their issue and problem is with the person that you are dealing with, not with you. But they're making you the main problem because they're your person or whoever y'all are dealing with replaced them for you. And they don't like that. So, you are the person that they want to attack, destroy, and all that other bullshit, okay? So, that is your reading, Sagittarius. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. If you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. All right? Send me all love. Bye, Sag.